34 victories. He never missed a start. Was always there when his teammates needed him. A Hall of Famer, Don Sutton, with his daughter, Jackie. Jackie, great to have you here, too. Don Sutton joining us. Welcome, Hall of Famer Don Sutton. He had a season to remember, hitting 390, and was the most valuable player. Let's George! Number five, George Brett. George! A great third baseman, gold glove winner, batting champion, and a man who helped taste the Kansas City Royals to the 1985 championship as well. Beginning with Willie Mays, this man was a giant. He was a most valuable player. He was one of the outstanding leaders of his team. Chacha Orlando Cepeda. He wielded a bat with authority all the way to the Hall of Fame from Puerto Rico to Cooperstown. Orlando, great to have you here. Orlando is part of the 1999 Hall of Fame class. Our next Hall of Famer was also part of the 1999 Hall of Fame class. He came up as a 19-year-old in Milwaukee. He won two most valuable player awards. One as a shortstop and injuring his shoulder. He moved to center field. Was an MVP award winner in center field. A great leader of that 1982 Milwaukee team. Let's welcome Rockin' Robin. Robin Yount. Pretty good golfer now, too. <laughs> as people ever to put on a baseball uniform, George Sparky Anderson. <laughs> With his very close friend from Detroit, Dan Ewald, and Dan's son, Dan Sparky, great to have you here. <laughs> Pop more games, 2,226 more than any other player in history. 11 time All Star, 376 career home runs. Once again, it's Pudge Carlton Fitz. You get him, Cap? Good. Let's welcome Pudge's wife, Linda, with him here, too. Pudge and Linda, great to have you guys with us. Hey, how about the table the other day? 27, and then what he meant to the White Sox when he wore number 72. This man, wherever he went, took winning with him. One of the great leaders and competitors to play for the Cincinnati Reds. He was born in Cuba, came to the United States, and he became one of the best RBI men in the history of the game of baseball. Tony Perez. He still works in baseball. He and Andre Dawson work as coaches with the Florida Marlins. He still is a great Goodwill ambassador, not just for the Hall of Fame, but for all of baseball throughout the Dominican. And throughout Puerto Rico, he's on his way to Panama as well. Tony Perez. I don't think I've ever seen Tony without Patuca sitting next to him. Where's Patuca? She's out shopping, huh? <laughs> Tony Perez. <laughs> This next Hall of Famer, signed in 1954 as just a 17-year-old with Pittsburgh as a shortstop, Branch Rickey moved him to second base. He eventually became one of the best defensive second basemen in history with a 983 fielding percentage. Who will forget the home run in 1960 to beat the Yankees? It's Bill Mazeroski. 2016 hits, 10 time National League All Star, led the league in assists, 9 times, Bill Mazarowski. Let's welcome in the Toronto Blue Jays to their first world championship in 1992.
Osborne Earl, Ozzy Smith. Dapper, Diane, you take good care of him tonight. Oh, where is he? I don't know. I'm right here. Osborne Earl. <laughs> you look dapper. Do you have a new clothing line? Yes. <laughs> Andre Dawson, one of the best catchers, one of the best teammates of all time, the kid, Gary Carter. fans who's coming up next can we hear the chant please that's right eddie 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 one of the greatest switch hitters of all time he hit with power he hit for average he was a gold glove winner he also was a leader he made teammates better none other than eddie murray hometown openings to four american league titles and winning the cy young and mvp honors in 1992 it's x Dennis Eckersley! In 1984, there were 3,319 hits. He's on the all time hit list. Of anybody who got 3,000 hits, he's the only one that did it with a home run. An all time great offensive player. Let's welcome the waiter, Wade Boggs. made Ryan better, Ryan all made the Hawk better, together they had one of the best seasons that Cubs fans have had in a long time, that was 1987, a Hall of Famer, and now maybe the next manager of the Chicago Cubs, let's welcome Rhino, Ryan Sandberg. Ladies and gentlemen, we talked about 1999. What about 2007? Biggest year ever. His mastery of slapping the ball between the third base and the shortstop at the 5.5 hole. Here he is, Tony Gwynn. He intimidated hitters with his ferocious intensity. Sausage, one of the top relievers throughout the 70s and 80s, 22 years, including the Yankees, Padres, Goose, Gosses. That's the class of 2008. We're moving up to the class of two. Okay, here's a bonus trivia question for you. 20 years ago, who was the most valuable player in the American League? Ricky Henderson. Let's welcome Ricky. Ricky, right here. Boy, he looked dapper last year. He's looking dapper again this year. Ricky, welcome back, Rick. Welcome back. A lot of umpires, great umpires, are in the game of baseball today, too. Every single one of them had to go to an umpiring school. This man was taught how to umpire by his dad. He's the last umpire to make it to the major leagues without ever going to an umpiring school. He was always in authority on the baseball field. Let's welcome Doug Harvey, Hall of Famer. Harvey, great to have you here. treatment and he was ready to play baseball at eight o'clock then now it's not seven o'clock let's welcome the hall of famer andre dawson the hawk andre one years as a montreal expo a chicago cub he still wears the uniform now with the florida marlins he and tony perez still coaches the hawk andre dawson Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, the ceremonies start tomorrow at 
over at the Clark Sports Center. We thank you for joining us here tonight. What do you think? You like this idea of a parade? We'll do it again next year.